Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use the draw function on SharePad charts. If you wish to draw a line on a chart, uh, press the draw button, select the line icon, then click, drag and let go of a mouse button. If you're using a tablet, just put your finger on the screen, drag your finger across the screen and lift it to draw the line from A to B. If you wish to delete a line, you can either use the delete button that will appear on the toolbar or simply hit delete on your keyboard. If you are using a keyboard, you can use the shift key to draw a line. Hold down the shift key, click, drag and let go and you don't need to use the draw button on the toolbar. In the draw menu, you will find a bell icon. This will draw a line alarm. Click on the bell, click on the chart, drag the mouse and let go to draw a line. This time, you will see a bell icon appear on the line. If a share price rises above the line, an alarm will trigger and you'll be notified of the cross. Lines and line alarms uh, can be drawn perfectly horizontally by using a single click. So if I wish to draw a perfectly horizontal line, I simply click on the line button and do a single click on the chart and that will draw a, a horizontal line which will draw infinitely into the future. Similarly, if I click on the bell icon and click on the chart, I will have a line alarm set at a specific price which will never change. If you wish to draw a parallel line, draw the first line, then select it and press the duplicate button. That will create a perfect copy of the line that you've just drawn and you can just click on the chart to place it. You can alter the colour of a line by selecting it and pressing the RGB button on the toolbar. If you wish to make a colour change permanent, go to the style menu and select set as default style. If you do that, all lines you'll draw from now on will be coloured of a chosen colour. If you wish to extend a line into the future, select it, go to the options menu and tick extend into future. This will extend the line infinitely into the future. By default, a line will draw anywhere on the chart from where you click to where you let go. However, if you go to the options menu and click on snap to bar close, the ends of a line are going to snap to the closest close price. If you then decide to move the line by clicking on the end and holding the mouse button down, if you drag the mouse, the line will shorten or extend, still snapping to the closest close price. Alternatively, you can go to options and click on snap to bar high or low, and the line will snap to the closest high or low price. In the options menu, if you select show change percentage, a little label will appear showing you the percentage change between the two points on the line and how many bars there were between the two points. If the label appears in a position that makes it hard to read, just click on the line. You can click on the little square dot to drag it to a different position. Alternatively, you can draw a percentage line directly by selecting percentage and then clicking and dragging the mouse. The draw menu contains Fibonacci retracement and Fibonacci extension. If you click on draw, click on the Fibonacci icon, then click, drag, and let go. This will draw a retracement line between the two points and draw horizontal lines at the various Fibonacci levels. Depending on which direction you draw the line in, the program will draw 
either a Fibonacci extension or a Fibonacci retracement. This is an extension. If I then draw the line from the high down to the low, it will draw a Fibonacci retracement where the 0% is at the top and the 100% is at the bottom. The draw menu also contains a harmonic pattern drawing function. Select the icon, click and drag on the chart and SharePad will automatically draw the W or M shaped pattern on the chart. It will also add the values of the ratios of the distance between the various points. Just as with any other line, if you click on one of the square dots, hold the mouse button down and drag, you can change the position of any of the five points. This function is useful for identifying butterfly or Gartley patterns on the chart. The draw menu isn't limited to only the icons that appear on the screen. If you press the add drop down menu, you will see the full scope of the draw function. You can add Fibonacci arcs, Fibonacci timelines, GAN angles, GAN boxes, and so on. One last thing to bear in mind is how lines affect other graph settings. If I draw a line on this graph setting and I change what graph setting I'm viewing, the line will not be visible. However, if I select the line and go to the style menu, I can remove the option from show on this setting only. If I do so, the line that I drew on this setting will appear on all other settings too. Just as with the colors, if I remove the option, I can then tick set as default style and all lines I'll draw from this moment onwards will appear automatically on all of my settings. This concludes our tutorial. Uh, please explore the draw menu as you will find many, many draw functions, uh, including GAN boxes, uh, Fibonacci arcs and Fibonacci fans. If you have any questions concerning the draw function or anything else within the program, feel free to contact us on 0207 749 8555 or send us an email to support at sharepad.co.uk. In the meantime, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.